Hello everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to make this hot chocolate stocking filler out of a plastic bottle as part of MHA Digital Communities Advent Calendar. So what you're going to need for this craft is an empty plastic bottle and um, preferably rinsed and dried out. We would definitely want it dry otherwise everything will stick inside. We're going to need a little bit of felt but no worries if you don't have any felt you can use card or anything you have around the house to decorate your snowman. Bits of ribbon, googly eyes, get creative, see what you've got. We're going to need some hot chocolate of course and I've topped it up with marshmallows but you can add the topping of your choice. So follow me through step by step and I'll show you how to make this little snowman, the perfect stocking filler for Christmas day. Okay so first of all we need to take the sleeve off of our plastic bottle um, because we want it nice and clear to get the full effect and for now I'm just going to take the lid off as well. So I've got a nice bit of orange felt, I'm just using some old off-cuts bits of material um, and I'm just going to cut a sort of triangle shape out which will form our nose. So play around with sizes um, and see what you sort of feel works for yours. So I'm just going to trim that down a little bit more. Perfect. So we've got our nose there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a glue gun today um, but you can use whatever glue you have around the home. We don't want too much glue and um, because it's a plastic bottle it may start to make it melt so just pop a little bit on just to hold it in place. So that's the start of our plastic bottle. Now I'm going to cut two eyes out. That will go just above our nose. So you don't want them too, too big. You can use googly eyes if you've got them around the home. Um, or alternatively, you can use felt like I am or bits of card. You don't have to use felt. You can use whatever you've got around your home. So don't go out buying stuff. Try and upcycle where you can. So I've got two discs here. And these will go just above the, ooh, the nose. Like so. So I'm going to just ooh, pop a bit of glue on there again. Again, if you're using a glue gun, don't put too much on because you don't want your bottle to start disintegrating. So there we go. Now I've got a little bit of black um, just for the middle bits of the eyes as well. Again, just using off cuts of old bits of felt I've got. So I've got a slightly smaller one this time. Um, you'll be able to see it better once it's on the white bit of our eyes. Like so. And another little bit on there. So I'm going to pop the lid back on just for a second. So you can see it's all starting to come together now. So what we need next is we're going to need to put the scarf on. So I'm just going to pop him to the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along here and then I'm going to cut some smaller bits for the, the dangly bit of the scarf. So you can make this as detailed as you like. You know, you could add extra stripes of colour if you like to. So let's wrap this round. Oh, I may not need to add dangly bits. Let's see. I think that looks okay. So what I'm going to do is that's naturally actually stuck because of the sticky bit where the label was. So I'm just going to hold that for a second. And there 
you can see. So we'll give our snowman a mouth as well. But what I'm going to do is just stick this on for now. And hold that in place. So you can see he's starting to come together. If you want, you can trim a bit of the scarf to add a bit of texture. It's entirely up to you. So now we just need a mouth and some buttons. So I'm going to cut some circles out for the buttons again. Similar to how we did the eyes. Slightly bigger though. So let's go for three buttons. What I'm going to do is just pop a bit of glue on each one. There we go, and just take the extra bits of glue off. So now we just need to add the mouth. You can play around with different styles, um, but I'm just going to go for a normal, standard, smiley face. I'll just give it a little bit of a trim down because it's a little bit big. So we'll pop that on and then I'll hold it up so you can see all the felt bits of our snowman. So there we have it so far. So what we're going to do now is you pop the lid back on. He's got a hat, you can make a hat for him if you'd like. Um, or you can just leave it as a plain bottle top. So, join me in a few seconds and let's fill him up with hot chocolate and marshmallows. So welcome back and now we're going to fill our snowman with hot chocolate and marshmallows. So pop the lid off and pop that to the side. And I've got a funnel which will make it much, much easier. So I'm popping the funnel in and I'm just going to fill it up with hot chocolate. This stops it getting messy because the, the hole of the bottle is quite small. So give it a little shake. So just keep tapping it every now and then. You can see we're starting to fill up now. So we're probably going to fill it up to where the scarf is with hot chocolate. If your hot chocolate's getting stuck, just give it a little helping hand. And then we'll top it up with marshmallows afterwards. So almost there now. It's taken quite a bit, but you will get a lot of portions out of this. So it will make a good stocking filler. So there we go. So we've got all of our hot chocolate in. And now I've got these nice um, snowflake marshmallows, but you can use mini marshmallows or whatever you find locally. And I'm just going to pop them in You won't need too many because these are quite big. Mini marshmallows might go a bit further. So just keep popping them in until you reach the top. Now 
You can see the details a lot better now as well, now that the bottle's filling up. There we go. So you could add a little bit of chocolate in there if you wanted. Um, whatever you have on your hot chocolate as toppings as well. So, pop the lid back on. And there we have it. Your snowman hot chocolate stocking filler is ready to gift to a loved one. Hope you've enjoyed making this craft and I'll see you again soon. Take care.